Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to talk about BCP steps, the secret to keeping good cash flow in the construction business during hard times. Right now is a good time to sit down and reassess your priorities, especially when it comes to your client retention. During such times as now, you may have to become more creative on how you are communicating with your customers, maybe setting some expectations, uh, what to say to your clients. And right now, you need to look at your current financial situation in terms of expenses with your client. And if your project is ongoing, set some expectations with your client. Make sure that they understand that the project timeline may be different now due to either limited labor, employee capacity, um, either um, the fact you cannot perform the work right now. You need to discuss with them if uh, maybe a revised payment can uh, help both of you make sure that everything is going smooth. Um, in reality, this is not my favorite thing to do, but at the same time, we need to make sure that you have a constant cash flow, even if it's just smaller payments at a time instead of what you agreed on at the beginning. And besides, this builds more trust with your customers and um, they can proactively communicate with their lenders and just uh, avoid all the surprises. And if you're still in the place of being good financially a good thing is to look at ways on where you can invest for some solutions technology solutions that will help you uh, communicate successfully with clients that provides even more individualist approach they will feel special they will feel that they're always kept in the loop so look at ways maybe get involved with project management software because technology solutions are giving construction companies the ability to be more efficient with uh, with the teams with the resources that they have and take resource management solutions with the enabling supervisors to manage projects remotely with real-time updates from employees in the field on job costs this is this is huge and these software also help supervisors to manage projects without unnecessary physical interactions and site visits which apparently is a new normal now that we might have to adjust to i don't know yet besides it saves a lot of time for project management who have different projects in different uh, locations they don't have to run from one to another because of just a couple questions they have employees can uh, embed the photos and videos into the form so managers just can stay engaged and answer questions and track progress and this visual additions to the tracking uh, grants global visibility across the whole organization um, you as a business owner can always uh, track everything on time coming back to the idea of better communication with your customers another key factor in making your construction business stand out is constant communication with your client but how often should you be speaking to them and why is this important? Well, if your project is still ongoing, a weekly call would make a world of a difference. At least 30-60 minutes long. This is important to keep your communication consistent. Think of it, those clients will keep you in mind for their future projects and right now at this time this is so important because it's harder to market to new people instead of having uh, recurring revenue from the current uh, people. Especially um, it's also good for goodwill. Loyal clients will in return market you um, eventually and refer you to other potential clients in the future and the effect may not be immediate but building that relationship is key to being profitable in the future in the long term and lastly this is a way to keep your revenue consistent if you're not in a position that uh, you can book new clients for the time being nurture your existing clients as a revenue generator and like we discussed the 
um, project management software, that also helps you stay in connection, in the constant connection with your customer because every time something gets posted on there, pictures, progress, notes, they get notifications uh, about it and they just stay calm and positive about what is going on with their projects. So if your projects slow down in general, this also has a positive impact because it's giving you time to look at your books and reassess your cash flow, your strategies, how you have been doing the client acquisition, how you have been serving your clients, what needs to be changed, what goals you need to set up at least for this quarter, for next quarter. You don't have to look five, ten years ahead, but just talk to your financial advisors, talk to your bookkeeper, talk to your accountant and see if you need to make any sort of adjustments about those ongoing projects. Ask for ways on maybe fund reallocation um, to make sure that you're maintaining due diligence in terms of your payments and maybe even investing in tools that can help you manage your projects remotely because of the current situation. If maybe uh, certain supply chain movements are affecting your business, you have to talk about that as well. Um, just see how this may impact your situation in relating to um, adjusting a project's timeline, probably with the new end date for the contract. You need to look at every uh, single system you have right now and assess maybe something needs to be changed from now on maybe you will just get back to normal but in most cases it may be still a little bit challenging in the times like these you may have been experiencing things slowing down because of all the shutdown of the construction industry but you have to know this, this is not a dead end either. This is the best time to evaluate your business. Just sit down and make sure you look at your books and you identify the problems that need to be fixed. Um, reassess with maybe your financial advisor or a bookkeeper if you need to cut down on costs, how to do it, when, how much, um, maybe some creative ways to come up. And if your clients can see that you're on top things, the chances that you're going to retain them are going to be high. Why? Because most clients in construction business may not know you, the ins and outs of how the whole building is made or how remodeling is made, but they do look at the numbers. And if you know how to display that information for them, when you give them an update about costing and your project timeline, they will feel confident that you will see it in the very end. And you know how it goes. More retained clients means more revenue. More revenue means more growth for your business. And of course, more growth means more stability. When you get more stability, it means that you have more retained clients. You see how the cycle just goes on. So make sure that at the times like this, as hard as it is, you're just trying your best to keep your customers happy. The customers that will provide you more revenue, provide you possible referrals, and just praise how great you did during such hard times. So as we continue to talk about retaining your current clients, at the same time right now is a good time to decide which clients do you really want to retain. Now is the time to think other clients that I just cringe when they call. I don't want to answer their calls because it's very, very hard to work with them and it's, you know, the money that they're already paying me, it's not even enough and they got me to discount their whole project and I'm hardly earning any money on it plus all this pain that I have to deal with. Right now, I think it's a good time to sit down and evaluate what is the, what is the client that you actually want to go after.
What is the client that you want to market to? What is the client that you want to work with the most and provide the most value, spend the most time on, and just make sure that you keep them so, so happy that they keep referring clients to you, they keep coming back to work with you, because let's face it, those clients that you cannot stand working with, you don't want them to come back. And it's probably right that they will refer people that will maybe act in the same as they do. So I invite you to do a client assessment. When you list all the clients that you have right now, you list what is important for you to work with the client, right? Are they paying on time? Are they, do you cringe when they call? Um, do you respect you and, and your expertise? Create a couple more columns and then try to identify what each client represents and pick the most perfect client that you would like just to work with his twins that are acting exactly the same way. And that is the client that you need to figure out how you're gonna find where you're gonna find and how you're gonna talk them into working with you. How are you going to uh, explain to them what value you provide? And after you have all this down, imagine that every single project you do is bringing you joy, that you're making a difference in those people's lives, they respect you, they respect your expertise, it's gonna be a perfect world. I know that perfect world is pretty much impossible. And, and when someone told me about this when I just started my business, I thought, nah, I'm just taking on anybody I can have, anyone I can get. Um, but as I grew, I realized that even though it was a good strategy at the beginning, so I would gain experience and just do my best to help people, right now, I know that the value I provide and the people I want to work with um, and it's it has made a difference it made me look happier <laughs> and um, it makes difference in my clients lives because I can spend more time on helping them instead of fighting the clients who are either not ready for a change or just have no respect for what I have to offer so just Consider looking at your client list and consider thinking of uh, getting more of those perfect clients. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like or a comment so we can reach more people who may find this information helpful.